welcome back to the show. It's still Good Morning Ghana Live on Metro TV's Tuesday's edition. And time for our Community Watch segment. Today, we are stationed in the United Kingdom where some Ghanaians living there have expressed their utmost displeasure over bad working attitude of staff of the Ghana High Commission in the UK towards clients and difficulties in the acquisition of Ghanaian passports. My colleague Gabriel Obodai Togwashaw has this report. I'm with a number of Ghanaians based here in the United Kingdom, and uh, it appears they have a concern regarding renewal of their passports or even acquiring one. So uh, let me talk to a number of them to know exactly what this is all about. Welcome to Metro TV. Thank you. Uh, I'm Nana Abuobu. How worrying is this? Um, in the past about three years now, we've had serious problems. It took me about two years to get my passport early this year. Mm. After applying, the passport was with them for nearly two years. Last year when I was going to Ghana, I have to travel on a, a travel certificate for the first time. And then uh, to get back, they have to stamp my passport one year and my wife have to send it to me in Ghana via DHL for me to come back. Otherwise, I wouldn't have money to come back. Then finally, when I got the passport, uh, I realized that we Ghanaians in the UK are paying the most expensive renewal uh, cost, which is £180 compared mm. to any other country, because I did a research on that. And then uh, I realized that even the Ghana High Commissions elsewhere, they've all got different charges. Okay. So it is not a one rate that we are all paying, it's different charges. Then I found out that in Ghana, it is just only 50 cities. Mm. So if they are charging 50 cities in Ghana, America is charging their own, Italy is charging their own, Germany is charging their own, how come we in the UK are being made to pay 180 pounds? I think it's too much. And the time it takes for the passport to uh, be renewed is also too long. I hear now it is improving, but we have really struggled. I, I have a friend in Austria where they don't even have an embassy there. They, they have to apply through, I think, Italy. Okay. And then uh, they are phone services all over, that one worldwide. Ghana High Commission phone, uh, phone services is very bad. You call and call and call, nobody will answer. And if you are lucky to even get it answered, they will give you some different number. The whole system is not mm. up to standard. It's ridiculous that we are paying 180 uh, pounds for a five-year visit uh, passport you go home three times or two times and you have to renew again so that 10 years thing has to be back in the system because i hear the americans uh, Ghanaians in america get a 10-year renewal so why do we in london have to get five years it seems there's some discrepancies and discrimination somewhere so the government should do something about it for us but have you engaged the high commission here Yes, the last one, uh, Victor Smith, we did, and um, it, I mean, there was no proper answer given us. Mm -hmm. This new one, we've not met him yet, so if we meet him, we will put it to him, because uh, I think it's ridiculous, and even the visa fee is also expensive. For a three-month visa fee, I think it's 50 or 60 pounds. 60 pounds, yeah. So, it's very expensive. Okay. Uh, Get one year gun. What they make when you were British passport? Eh, get one where you are new in a wife visa charges in a game of no. Dear no coning in a sana game of no. Yeah, okay. Oh, he sorry. Oh, he a visa. No, you are three months. Eh, a Bible to my fifty, sixty pounds. Sixty pounds. Eh, ne, ne, oh, ya single entry. You are get one year single entry. New one course. I'll ban one year at all. Fifty, sixty pounds. Eh, fat you are in the Ghana High Commission. It's only a matter of time. You know, if I get what you believe, you are man, cook, cook, you know. You money will appear. You come here. When you walk out, you pass what you are here. You walk many words. 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 You walk I mean, I'm not Jimmy. I mean, I'm not Jagamba. 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 I'm
Mm. So as 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 the vice chair of Ghana Union and also the secretary of uh, the National Council of Ghanaian Unions in the UK, we met with a new high commissioner yesterday, and one of the things that came up was this issue of passports. Now. What we asked them to do was to rescind that. Also, the cost was a huge, a major, major issue. And they have said that uh, the cost things are done via parli parliament, the, the uh, um, tenure also by parliament. But they are looking at that and they are looking at the possibility of reducing it. I mean, we are advocating at the moment against the way Ghanaians are treated when they want to come to UK. So when we go to UK visa offices, they ask us for a certain amount of money. If you do not pay that money, you don't get your visa. And if you do pay it and you don't get your visa, they don't refund that money. Nobody complains about the cost because Mofia Montani Bablucci. And yet, um, I think in, in, in trying to get the Ghana government to look at the costing, which is legitimate, we must also be mindful of the fact that the way we, we tend to relate to our um, embassies, may not be the same way we relate to foreign embassies. And I think we need to look at that very, very well. Right, so we've ended, and uh, you've also heard their clarification. We shall follow it up with the embassy and then see how this would be resolved. But until then, this is Gabriel Ni Obudai Togbashon reporting. All right, so my colleague Gabriel Obudai Togbashon followed up to Ghana's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Papa Usuan Kumar, who assured all Ghanaians living in the UK that their concerns will be duly addressed. I arrived here on the 13th of uh, June, mm -hmm. and then fortunately, the president also followed the following day. And on the 16th of June, he had a town hall meeting with the Ghanaian community. Right. That was the first time I heard this. So it was raised in the presence of the president and the minister for foreign affairs. And in her answer, the minister indicated that the concerns will be forwarded to government and to be considered. And since then, I have met Ghanaian communities, you know, church leadership, uh, community leaders, professionals, and they always raise this matter, 180 pounds. But you know, uh, it is a levy or a fee or a tax. So it's only parliament that can do something about it. Okay. I have received a petition, you know, with an online link from about 20,000 Ghanaians, mm -hmm. you know, in respect of this same matter. So I have since then uh, formally written to Accra. Okay recommending that it favorably considers that petition. You see, 180 pounds, I guess, well. Uh, because comparing that steep, to other steep. countries. No, 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 it's quite steep. Even comparing it to what it, it is in Ghana. But don't forget that there's also revenue generating. You know, diasporas don't pay tax. Mm. Even though we acknowledge they send a lot of remittances home, so I guess it's also a form of generating uh, revenue for the country. And, and you know, some of I'm them tend to, to, to I'm fear you that, that no, no, no. Or, you know, feeling that, uh, well, then in other countries it's yes, I, much I guess, less happening. I guess, yes, I, guess I, I agree with you. I agree with you. And I have seriously recommended to government okay. to review the fee downwards, probably in the minister's 2018 budget, which will be presented to parliament probably uh, late November or sometime in December. So I agree with them, and I have no doubt. I mean, the president indicated that uh, the concern will be addressed. Your, your words are reassuring, yes. uh, but I first of all want to know when you made the recommendation and then the follow-up would come up. Oh, they recommend, you know, I, I've been here barely six weeks. Mm. Yes, I think the recommendation was made uh, probably sometime last week. Okay. Yes, I, I spoke 
I spoke to the minister and then I followed directly it up formally. Or, or, yeah, directly. Was it directly or through a directly. letter? Formally, I've written. All right. So there's a record of it. Okay. And I'm going to follow up before the end of the year. Would, would I appreciate if we can then have a, a, a copy of it, if possible, to, to then give our viewers oh, that... Oh, really? You want a copy? To, if no, possible, no, 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 if possible, for them to know that indeed... No, 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 no. Oh, I don't doubt me. Don't doubt me. Right. That's I, okay. I, I copied, of course, uh, I must write it to my, communicate it to my minister, no. who then uh, communicated to government. But it may interest you to know that I copied the chief of staff, I copied the minister for finance, and then the majority leader and minister for parliamentary affairs. Okay. And I intend talking to them too, no. subsequently, so that uh, uh, the request doesn't get lost through the cracks, you know. Uh, there are so many things on the minds, but, and this has to do with revenue. It's key. Yeah. Yes, it's key. We need a lot of revenue in order to uh, pursue government's programs and agenda. I've also heard complaints, customer service. Exactly. That, said, that would have been I my see. next no, question to you. Yes, the, by, the fact by, that people are describing it to be very terrible. You know, you know, you know. Answering calls, even the, the rapport between. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. Uh, I had, I had a, a deba mm. with the entire staff of uh, the High Commission okay. at the passport and visa section, and I, I said, look, uh, we are serving customers. So please, we should never argue with them. We are always wrong. Let's always <laughs> accept that we are wrong. Uh, no, uh, yes, otherwise. it's always right. Yes. And recently, I mean, I understand somebody came, I mean, apparently, you know, it's, it's quite, you never know, the stress here is quite high. Mm -hmm. I understand when the person was coming from home with the husband, I mean, even in the bus, it seems as if <laughs> she, 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 she was getting into altercations with everybody. He brought it to, brought it to the uh, passport and visa section. I mean, then they say he was surprised. Oh, she complains. Nobody was talking. Oh, okay. why? You are also ignoring me. Oh. I said, look, now let's try to please our people. You know, Ghanaians, we are difficult to please. All right. And of course, uh, we expect the highest level of service. I mean, that's Ghana for you, you know. So we want to, we want to be with the top uh, in the world. So we are, we are up in our game. Uh, they should be patient but, with us. But right. Beyond having interacted with them, should reports get to your desk that some of the staff members have acted inappropriately to any of the clients in coming fact, around? In fact, I know Would you that crack the whip on them? No, 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 no. There's a, system, there's a system in place where you can complain. Okay. All right? And all those working there have name tags. So... You can report. When you report, the necessary action, investigation will be undertaken. I'm very much concerned about Ghanaians here. And I've said, I don't know, I've said, I come, they tell me a lot of Ghanaians have problems. Some are in prison. I've made a request through the consular division, you know, for the Home Office to try and get us a list of all Ghanaians in custody, in prison, so that we can provide consular services. All right? You see? And look, there are young people here. Look, there are so many opportunities, but there are also so many challenges facing young people here. I mean, in terms of counseling, in terms of uh, community uh, contribution to their raising. You don't have it here. So you may have wayward young people. People have stress. You know, it's so easy in this country. Whom do they tend to? They don't have any system in place. And I've gotten to know that here too, people don't want to share their problems because they say when you share your problem with a Ghanaian, Everyone will hear of it. So as part of our engagement with the community, we want to do that. 
the engagement with the gardening community has been very, very good. Actually, even last year, last year uh, at the uh, Homo War festivities, I'm informed that in the absence of the High Commissioner at that time, he was not here, okay. the consular officer, who is a fanti, you know, attended the Homo War whilst they were celebrating Afasha at the same time. You know, and that's why I think that we should also have this calendar so that we don't have some of these events coinciding, all right? Okay. So that we can give, I mean, others can come and support others mm. in their celebration. And, and that's also one idea that I'm going to throw to them. Look, we have major festivals in Ghana, if possible. Let us make these festivals not necessarily uh, Ghanaian com ethnic community base, but something that will embrace the entire Ghanaian community. All right? Okay. I'm having a deba with the Ghanaian community on the 19th of August at Highgate Hill, where we have our, our passport and visa section. Okay. Yes, for Ghanaians in London and the southern part of the United Kingdom. It's also my intention that, well, later we schedule another event for those in the Midlands and then the North, so that there will be this engagement. Thank you very much, and we wish you the very best. You've heard from uh, His Excellency Papa Wusuankuma, the High Commissioner for United Kingdom, and we wish to thank him so much for the time spent with us, agreeing to speak with us. Uh, you've just watched Community Watch, exclusive uh, edition on Good Morning Ghana on Metro TV. I wish to um, thank Titus Evans, uh, Bishop T, known by friends, and also Nachocho Soyo, our very own Queen Mother and a leader within the uh, Ghanaian community right here for facilitating and making this possible. My name is Gabriel Obodai Togbo Ashon. Bye-bye for now. Right, so that was our Community Watch segment uh, with Gabriel Obudai Togbasha interacting with some <coughs> Ghanaians living in the UK as well as, the, as Ghana's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom.